So we do film together. I usually try to have him set up with movie snack. I love you. <laughs> Watch your movie. If you hear him in the background, don't mind him. He's a goofball. Um, <laughs> that's it, okay. Hey everyone, how has your week been? Welcome back to my channel, Lifestyle of Adri. Last week I posted my alopecia video. It took me a couple weeks to edit because there was just so much that I wanted to add into it, which is why I was gone for a week. Sorry, but I hope you enjoyed that. It feels really good to jump on and be real and just not have to wear that hot ass wig all the time. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about teething, some tips and tricks that worked for me and some decisions that I chose to make. I will come on here and say off the bat that I did choose not to give him any teething medication whatsoever. So this video is going to be all about natural remedies and ways to naturally help your baby teething. I'm not like super into holistics or, you know, zero medication at all, just specific teething medication I chose not to give him and in this video I will tell you why I will tell you what I did instead and I will tell you what worked for me instead He actually did a really good job without it at all and it is possible when I mentioned that I did not give him any teething medication I did give him some Tylenol when there was a time where he had a fever because of the teething and he was just in so so much pain I would give him some Tylenol but this time he was old enough to be able to have it But I like I said, I did not give him the numbing gel. So let me just be clear on that I would give him a dose of Tylenol if he had a fever and he was not doing well at all, especially before bedtime. However, I did not give him the numbing teething medication. That's the one I'm talking about. He never had any of the numbing medication. Hudson and I actually got through teething just fine. Um, We did really well. He did really well with it. And these are the things that worked for me. All right, so I'm going to start off on why I chose not to give um, Hudson any teething medicine. It's not because I want my baby to suffer. It's not because I don't believe in medicine or anything like like that. I had read some things about it and I'd kind of talked to his pediatrician about it and this is just the decision that I came to. A big reason why I decided not to give him any teething medicine was I feel like it is just such a quick fix. And that's not only for the baby, but for the parent as well. If your baby's crying and you give them that medicine and it works like that, one of the problems is that the baby is going to constantly want that. They got a taste of like, boom, this takes it away right away. And they're gonna want more. So every time they're in a little bit of pain or discomfort, they're gonna keep wanting that medicine. So as a parent, you're gonna wanna give them that quick relief as well, because it's just so easy. You feel bad if your baby's in pain, so you just wanna keep giving it. And sometimes parents tend to overcompensate or I'm not sure what exactly to say but they they end up giving their baby too much too often and that's one thing that's hard on the baby is like if you give them this medication then anything else you're kind of giving them they don't want it's not gonna work and they're not gonna want it because they just want that instant relief I don't know I feel like it just creates more problems than benefits um, I'm not saying that it's not a benefit to relieve your baby of their pain but it's gonna kind of put them in this mental cycle where that's all they want that's all they want and that's the only Thing that's going to work for them. Um, I know doctors do recommend not giving them it or not giving them it very often at all because you can end up giving them just too much too often and in between those times where you're not giving it to them between doses that four hours between it's going to be awful for you and for them because they just want that instant relief. You just want to give it to them and that's it. Teething toys. Um, I did have a favorite brand. My favorite brand was the Itsy Ritzy. Again, I am not sponsored or affiliated with any brands. Um, these were just my personal choices and the things that I found worked the best. Itsy Ritzy, if you want to do a sponsor later in the future or a little collab. I'm down. I would love to. So I love the Itsy Ritzy. Their little silicone teethers are the bomb. One, they're so cute, they're so sturdy, and they're very durable. One thing that I did mention in my top 10 products you absolutely must have as a new parent is um, those teething links. I really like about the Itsy Ritzy is there's a lot of negative space in them. They have a lot of nooks and crannies in their designs, and they're really, really, really nice designs. So what you can do is easily take like a teething link and hook that onto the teether. I love that they're so easy to hook onto a stroller or a car seat, so it just helps from like hitting the ground at all. Those are the bomb. I don't have them with me. I mean, he was done with teething a while ago and I will actually link a bunch down below too as well if you want to check them out. I also ended up buying one of their teething necklaces. So I wasn't a fan of the balls, I want to 
I wasn't a fan of the like necklace with all of the balls. I just felt like sometimes he would like put one in his mouth and put another one and that kind of scared me. But I did end up really liking it was like um like a flatter circle teething necklace. Um I will post which one I liked and which one I didn't like. Um and that one worked really really well. A lot of times he would just want to chew on that thing and it's great like if you're holding them, they have the necklace here or if they're in their car seat, you can kind of see them with it and that one I felt wasn't as dangerous. I'm not saying that the one with all the little balls is dangerous. I just felt a little more anxiety when he had that one because he would shove like two in his mouth or whatever. I would just get a little worried. But that's just my personal preference. So nothing against the brand, nothing against the design. That was just my comfort level with that. So Itsy Ritzy, great, amazing brand. Um, overall, their quality is really, really good and worth it. I mean, I had been for over a year. They're really, really, really sturdy. 100% totally worth it. Another thing I want to talk about is, that's right, teething necklaces. So these were the two um, teething necklaces that I ended up purchasing. So this one was like the Baltic Amber one on Amazon, I think like 15, 16 bucks. And then this one is one that I actually found at the fair. Um, it was like a Russian lady who sells a bunch of nesting dolls and she happened to have like a whole little section of these. And I know that there are ways to tell like which one is a true amber necklace and which one are kind of dupes or fakes. You can Google some ways to tell um, if they're real or not. Make your best judgment on purchasing, read the reviews and see what people say. I'm not 100% sure. I don't wanna give you guys false information on like the exact way to tell. But yeah, I mean, I really like these. He didn't wear them like 24 seven. I don't know if they really did like all these magic wonders like people say. Um, like I said, Hudson did really well with teething. So maybe these were one of the reasons why he did so well with them. I didn't see too much of a difference from when he had them on and off. Um, I did not let him sleep with these though I felt a little worried as a parent for him to sleep with this around his neck and how much he moved but like I said I have anxiety and parent anxiety was one thing that I just had a lot of um, sometimes I would wrap one around his ankle I would just kind of you know double or triple wrap it around the ankle and that worked really well as well so um, amber necklaces are something great to try now on to my favorite trick given to me by my best friend Allie is this that is right, chamomile tea. I ended up buying the Organics tea box, I'm right here. And as you can see, I still have a good amount left over. I didn't go through them all at all. They did last me a while. Chamomile is known to be a natural healing remedy. It's been used for hundreds and thousands of years as a natural pain relieving remedy. Um, And this worked great. So with this, um, normally when you make tea, you do a one to one ratio, one cup of water, and you steep one tea bag in that. I cut it to about a three to one ratio. I would end up um, boiling three cups of water and I would steep one tea bag in that, and that's what I I would use. Now what I would do with that afterwards, once it's cooled, honestly just put it in a Ziploc baggie. Um, maybe fill the baggie like halfway or a quarter of the way and lay it flat in your freezer and that will kind of create like a flat ice block. And after that you can take that, put that between a kitchen towel and just bash it and then you will end up getting these little ice chunks. That's the way I did it and what I would use is this guy. So this is the Boone um, Baby Teether. It was used a lot but we haven't used it in a really long time. So these are the Boone silicone teethers. They look like this. And they are great. Um, I did try using the standard like no. mesh teethers as well, which they look just like this. However, this piece is like a net. Um, the only problem with that is it just leaks everywhere. It got everywhere. It was all over the place. It was just not pleasant. So I ended up trying these and I like these because it really only comes out of the top part as you can see. It doesn't come out of the whole entire piece. So if they chew on it, it's not making a mess and splattering everywhere. And what I would do is I would just take those broken ice chunks, push it, fill the little silicone thing, you put the top back on, and then you pull it tight and it locks and it won't come out. Um, and I would just do like a couple of these for him, like a little ice pop. I'm sure there's a way to like fill this whole thing and put this in the freezer. Um, but I just found the ice cubes easier because these are two for $10. And the reason I would do the ice chunks and put them in was because I didn't really have the budget to go out and buy like five or 10 and keep kind of rotating them, giving them a popsicle and then filling it and leaving it in there. So this was just the most cost efficient way that I found was to just kind of make the 
those ice chunks, keep them in the freezer, and then just fill it as I go. Um, and that way too, you don't ever really run out. Once you kind of run out of the solid blocks, you gotta refreeze a bunch more. Um, but yeah, so these are my favorite, these Boone silicone teethers, as opposed to the mesh ones. I just was never a fan. Even feeding the baby, I wasn't a fan of the mesh teethers. Like I said, it's all personal preference, but also that's why I'm doing this, to tell you guys hints, tips, and tricks, what works, what doesn't. It's like you don't have to learn the hard way. My last um, organic remedy or whatever natural remedy is again back to these tea bags. One thing that you can do also is like to buy a soft towel, like a small little dish towel size or even smaller washcloth size. Um, and what you can do is make sure, of course it's clean, is dip half of that towel into your tea mixture before you freeze it all and then put that guy in the freezer. And one that thing that's great is to kind of have them chew and gnaw on that fresh frozen towel. Um, it is really relieving to their gums. It's cooling. It's soothing. You're going to have a natural pain reliever in there. Whenever things get really bad, um, it's good to just let them go to town on that. So you can buy a couple of those, put those in the freezer. You can roll them up like a little burrito, dip one side in, and then let them kind of gnaw on it like a little taquito basically. And that worked really well for Hudson as well. Lots of loves and snuggles and cuddles work. And yeah, I mean, that's basically all that we did. I never used the numbing gel. I used chamomile most of the time. Chamomile tea is caffeine free, I'm pretty sure. Let me look it up. Hey Siri, does chamomile tea have caffeine? So yeah, it is caffeine free. Awesome. I could have sworn that I knew that when I bought it. That's why I bought the chamomile, but whatever, mom brain, you forget shit. So yeah, so that's why I loved it. It is caffeine free, so you don't have to worry about giving them too much or, you know, them getting all wired afterwards. That's what I stuck with was the chamomile, amber necklaces, the specific teethers, ice chips, and some Tylenol when they need it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this helped. Um, if you guys also have anything that worked for your babies, don't forget to leave that down in the comments below so you can help out other moms as well well and other parents and dads and everybody as well who is raising a baby teething and screaming and crying because it sucks sometimes oh one more thing is um i did include it in my like sleeping tips but it also does help for teething before bed sometimes i wake up in the middle of the night in a lot of pain so give them a nice warm bath immediately before bed not like oh you know an hour or so before right before bed give them that warm bath they get a little more comfortable soothe them rock them kiss them whatever you need to do and i really hope that these tips helped you with with teething. Teething sucks for babies. You feel awful as a parent, but there is ways to get through it and we can all get through it together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Adri. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Bing. I'm getting better at that bell sound and my sound effects. I post every single Monday because Mondays suck. So I like to call them my hot mess Mondays and give you a little something to look forward to. So thanks for coming to my channel, Lifestyle of Adri. I'm your girl, Adri, and I will see you next week.